John 1, 1 through 3. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. What? Have you ever read stuff in the Bible and just been like, uh, what? Sometimes stuff in the Bible that God says can sound a little crazy, but we're ready to blast off on a high speed journey to discover and understand what he said. So buckle up and get ready because Jesus sayings are out of this world. Have you ever felt left out of a place or maybe like someone didn't want you in the room? Maybe, maybe not a friend, but has an adult ever made you feel that way? If so, I'm so sorry. Little children can be ignored sometimes. As adults, we can get so busy thinking that other things are super important that we forget about you, the children. We forget your value and we forget that God has big, big plans for you too. Jesus knows all about this. He saw it happen with his own two eyes. One time there were some adults, the disciples, that forgot that children were important too. Jesus was teaching and he got super busy and people were bringing the children to the disciples and they were saying no. But Jesus was saying, yes, yes, bring them. And, and oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. I, sh I shouldn't be the one telling you this. You need to hear it from the Bible. Here's what happened during one of Jesus' teachings to the people. In Matthew chapter 19, verses 13 through 15, it says, Then people brought the little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them and pray for them. But the disciples rebuked them. Jesus said, Let the little children come to me and don't hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. When he had placed his hands on them, he went on from there. Je Jesus said, what? You are important. Yeah, you, you have value. You are the example. Now, I'd hope these words were spoken over you all the time, but I know for some of you listening, it may never happen. I mean, if it does, it doesn't happen a lot. Sometimes adults miss how important you are. Well, in our Jesus said what moment from earlier, Jesus wanted everyone to know that little children were important. He stood up for them. He said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. Hindering means don't stop them. Can you imagine that? Jesus speaking up for you? When people thought kids were less important, Jesus thought the total opposite. He wanted to be with them. He wanted to touch and pray for them. He stopped and took time for them. He wanted to hear what they needed and to do something about it. Jesus has time for you and Jesus has time for your needs. Kids have a heart that God really loves. Even though you're little, you recognize that someone always knows a little bit more than you. You're humble because you know you're not big enough to make decisions that older people can make. You're bold. You make friends with people you don't know and you love telling them the good news about Jesus. The kingdom of heaven belongs to people who are like kids. We can all learn from you. We can learn how to be humble from you and how to trust God. Then God can use us in big and mighty ways. Jesus actually believes that you can be used too. He says that you are the example. God can use you because you'll actually let him. If there was just one thing that I'd want you to remember from today, it would actually be this. God can use me. Can you say that with me? God can use me. Children have big faith. They trust people when they say they'll do something. So when they ask God to do something, they actually believe he will. This week, to activate your faith and help you remember that God can use you, I want you to be bold. Use your voice to pray big prayers and tell people about Jesus. Trust God to do the impossible. Ask your friends and family what they need from God and pray for them. Then ask yourself, what do I need from God? Psalm chapter eight, verse two says this. Through the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against the enemy to silence the foe and the avenger. We need 
your voice and we need your prayers. God can and will use you. And to be honest, you never know how much one conversation can change someone's life.